Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And what I would like to ask is um, for some thoughts on wood stove design. I'm far from an expert, but with the research I've done, um, it appears as if the most efficient wood stoves take in air through the bottom, it circulates all around the wood, in addition, what you want is you want an extra air supply kind of in a pipe so that it warms up with all this. And it's introduced after the combustion chamber kind of, you see that baffle right there? So you introduce fresh air that's already hot. The air has to be hot because if not, what you do is you actually cool off the gases there and you can lose the combustion of you know more volatile wood so once again air in the bottom and plenty of air for the wood to burn now you have a super heated um, wood gas right there and if you introduce once again heated fresh air you should end up with an afterburn in this chamber hence the afterburner chamber the first chamber main combustion afterburner and then once again you go through here and then out into what I call kind of a cool down chamber right I mean if you put the exhaust right there you can have a lot of hot air going right out the exhaust right this way with the additional path um, I would figure you get a bunch more heat up on top here out before you go out the exhaust right there what I have is I have a, a, a piece of square stock so to speak uh, this this stuff here as a matter of fact I bought that particular piece to make a kind of a mini wood stove but as I was doing research on building that uh, that piece is about 14 inches long it seemed to be very hard to get a bottom chamber where you're going to put the air in and where you're going to end up with the ash falling and the baffle for the top chamber so that you can kind of swirl things about and um, introduce air for kind of that afterburner concept. I kind of looked at that and I said, you know what, I'm going to end up with too much fire in the pipe, so to speak. You really want to be done burning your wood before you get to the exhaust. So I kind of looked at that piece of material and said to myself, unless I'm burning stuff about the size of my thumb and I want to clean it out every other day, I'm not going to be able to squeeze everything I need to squeeze into such a short piece of stock. Especially considering, remember, you got to cut a door uh, to put the wood in. You got to um, you got to put on that door air input or um, on the stove air inputs and you also have to set it up so that you got a grate that you can take out so you can shovel the ashes out or you got to put a trap door on the bottom so that you could clean out the ashes from the whole thing so so that wasn't working so instead now I have a 36 inch piece of this square stock 8x8 eight eight square stock um, and I just broke it into three chambers um, I'm figuring the wood burning chamber here there's going to be about four inches um, where the air is going to be able to circulate through the grate to the wood and that's going to end up as the ash dump um, once again eight inches um, it's not very big eight by eight is going to kind of be the remainder eight and yeah, 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight is as big as this chamber is going to be. The afterburner right there. Then this is a 8x8x12, 8x8x12 up there. I was, and now for opinions, right? Proportionately, I'm not sure. I've, I've done quite a bit of research if, if I should be shrinking these chambers down, right? If I should make each one of these smaller and then the wood stove part bigger. Um, this wood stove is going to be in an area of relatively tight clearances. Um, so it's going to have all kinds of shielding around it. 
um, probably down here you don't see it in the picture there'll be a, a blower to blow air around it so anyway that that's what I, I'm looking at has anybody designed a stove like this or has anybody um, put any thought into it many of us that invent and build things and all that are always thinking how could I, I make a wood stove that's efficient for me when it comes to heating this garage it's 24 by 24 right um, and th this is guesstimate type calculations that heater is 40,000 BTUs if you run it wide open it actually warms this place up in relatively real time in a couple of hours you could start warming it up I've fired up um, like 10,000 BTUs in here and it's nothing it it does nothing if you you know plug in a small heater uh, electric heater 5,000 BTUs it, I, I mean literally it's unless you're standing directly in front of it it's nothing it does not raise the temperature of this garage at all it just it can't overcome the mass right all these items in here plus the leakage you know, five, ten thousand BTUs candle in the wind, especially if it's cold and windy. What, what, nothing. Um, this forty thousand seems to be able to to raise the heat of the place. Quick <laughs> mathematical. Um, a pound of wood is about eight thousand BTUs, give or take a little bit give or take how efficient you are burning it so if I'm not burning at least five pounds of wood an hour I'm not getting 40,000 BTUs and even at that that that's that's more of an optimistic off the back of the envelope calculation but if I'm not burning five pounds per hour um, I'm not getting 40,000 BTUs and I'm really not heating the place right if if you want to warm the place up that's that's what it's gonna gonna take in the case of running that thing, by the way, uh, if, it, if I'm getting 40,000 out of it, all 40,000 are in the room, right? There's no sm smokestack on that. So <laughs> I probably got to be burning more like 8 to 10 pounds per hour considering the efficiency of a wood stove to actually start warming this place up. Anyway, I made this video to share some of my thoughts on how to get an efficient wood stove, you know, air all around the wood, um, an afterburner with heated hot air, a couple of chambers so that the heat actually stays in here, doesn't all go up the stack, right? Once again, this afterburner chamber uh, should help cut down on pollution and once again, should help keep the heat here rather than up there. Um, but if anybody else has any ideas or any thoughts, or particularly from a proportionality point of view, um, let, let, let me know. Um, it's like a, almost half past July at this point. Um, I have a couple of months. I only have one three-foot section, and it cost me about 70 bucks. So I'd really rather not... <laughs> wreck it by you know coming up with something and going oh shoot i should have done it differently so once again i'd appreciate any input at all i want to thank everybody for watching this video i want to thank you all in advance for your thoughts could be a good way of getting some discussion between all of us especially if anybody else is thinking of putting together a wood stove um remember i want you all to keep your feet down your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day bye now